हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक ऑन योर ओन चैनल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस एट होम इन दिस सेशन ऑफ पाइथन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फोर लूप एलिस्ट्रेशंस मींस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स ऑफ फोर लूप दीज एग्जांपल्स आर वेरी कॉमन एंड वेरी इजी फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस टू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दीज एग्जांपल्स वन बाय वन एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज so we have the first example program to print your name five times on the screen using the for loop why we are talking about using for loop because we can perform the same task with the help of repetition operator in string when we apply repetition operator with string the same purpose can be solved but we are trying to understand the for loop here so that's why we will be doing it with variable n will receive the value of name and then the logic is for i in range 1 to 5 1 to 5 we are specifying here means it will be giving us how many values 4 because the maximum value in the range is 5 so it will be giving us four values so if we want to have five values we will have to specify 6 and then print n this means to print the value of name so let's execute so it is asking for the name and i am giving my name harish and five times the name is printed on the screen so this is a very simple logic for i in range what is the range 1 to 6 1 to 6 so we have actually five steps one after another and the for loop always execute one value minus with the last value if the last value is suppose n so it will be printing n minus one values so if we print the value the maximum number is 6 here so 5 will be printed so five times the output is here let's execute one more time enter your name suppose i write op gms so it is printing the name five times okay now let's understand the next example of for loop and the example is this is a very simple example you can see the code is hardly of two lines and the program is about to print the gap series of 4 between 1 to 40 1 to 40 we have 40 numbers and if we have to print a gap series of 4 so that means 1 and then 40 is the maximum value and here we'll specify 4 and then we execute so after execution what we see 1 5 9 1 4 5 4 9 4 13 4 17 and and this with the last value is 37 so this is happening because of specification of this value 4 at the last which means the step value and the same program we can use to find the squares of numbers also to find the even numbers to find the odd numbers we can make such kind of changes for example i talk about 1 to 20 and then gap of 2 and then instead of i i take i square or we can say the square of numbers so in this case what i'll be getting is square of 1 then 1 plus 2 3 square of 3 square of 5 square of 7 up to square of 19 so this is a basic concept of finding the gap series we can say and the gap we can have squares we can have cubes or the normal series so these two three examples we have discussed they are very simple now we have little difficult examples which we need to understand and in those difficult example but they are very important as well the first one is factorial factorial is a very common mathematical operator or we can say functioning the symbol of factorial is this that is a sign of exclamation 
suppose we have 5 factorial so actually we will be getting 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 equal to 120 but how is this going to be possible for us let's understand firstly we will receive the value means whose factorial has to be find out so a is equal to int input enter a number now f equal to 1 which always remains 1 which means that we are going to find a factorial in which 1 is essential at the last step every time so f equal to 1 is fixed now i in range 1 to a plus 1 in factorial if we are finding the value so means the particular number is actually expected we cannot get the any one number less so we have taken a plus 1 means if I am talking an, about a number which I am receiving so if I have to consider that number I need to add 1 because by default it gives one number less so I in range 1 to a plus 1 f equal to f multiply i means every time f means 1 will be multiplied by i i whose value is going to be firstly 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and then the number which is being entered by you maximum that so in this example if the value of a is 5 so that means f equal to 1 multiply i which means 1 so that means initially we have 1 then that 1 will come here multiply by 2 that means 1 multiply by 2 multiply 3 multiply 4 multiply 5 and this we will get the factorial of 5 which is 120 so let's execute the program so you can see the execution enter a number i enter 5 and the factorial is 120 why it is happening because 5 multiply 4 is 20 20 multiply 3 is 60 and 60 multiply 2 is 120 and 120 multiply 1 is 120 so this is the program of factorial where simply we are using the logic f equal to f multiply i means the multiplication of the loop variable and the multiplication of the value which is being updated every time after the first iteration and then this value keep on updating till we reach the last value of the loop so this is about the factorial of number the next program we are going to talk about is Fibonacci series or sometimes we may pronounce it with a different name Fibonacci or Fibonacci series so what is this series about in this series basically we have two numbers initially that is 0 and 1 they both are added and they create the third number that is 0 plus 1 is 1 and then the second number and third number they both are added and they make the fourth number then third and fourth number are added and they make the fourth number so this way the series keep on moving so firstly we have 0 and 1 so they both are number 1 and number 2 so number 3 will be 0 plus 1 is 1 so that means 0 1 and then we'll get another one now next will be 1 plus 1 2 next will be 2 plus 1 3 next will be 3 plus 2 5 then 5 plus 3 8 then 8 plus 5 13 so basically we need to specify up to which level we have to find the series so let's execute the program I'm specifying 5 so 5 means now 0 and 1 these two are already there so level 1 is addition of above 2 then level 2 is addition of these two level 3 is addition of these two level 4 is addition of these two and level 5 is addition of above these two so this way we have got the five notchy series 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 in which two values are given in the beginning which are essential and then afterwards the next value is always the addition of previous two numbers so i hope you were able to understand the codes of fibonacci series factorial number square of number 
and we also discuss about the gap series of four and we also talked about to print the name five times using for loop so definitely watch the video to understand the for loop illustrations and don't forget to share the channel and subscribe as well thank you so much god bless you take care bye bye